it worked. We're gonna start this video right now, guys. Anyways, welcome back to another Clash of Clans video. Oh my goodness gracious. Just got done with the live stream, guys, and we are here live in my home office getting ready. <sighs> We've just been back a day, but we're leaving again tomorrow, guys. Guess why? Well, I'm gonna spoil a surprise. Clash of Clans knew what was coming up, and they gave me not one cake, not two cakes, not three cakes. Not four cakes. Not five cakes. Six cakes. Six whole cakes to celebrate my 10th wedding anniversary. 10. This many. That many. That's a lot of, of years. 3,650 days with the same woman. She's wonderful. I'm lucky uh, more than you guys could ever know. Uh, cannot wait to celebrate this weekend. So I am going to be leaving the, the office, going on a little mini vacation. Um, might upload a, a little bit while I'm gone, but we'll see. I'm going to be doing a little weekend trip, taking the wifey to San Francisco. We're going to be hanging out. So shout out to all the homies in the Bay Area. Maybe we'll run into you out on the town. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see you guys. But anyways, I am back from Helsinki. Got some updates for you in this video on that. But we're going to be checking out what went down in Clash of Clans while I was gone. Let's get into it. And we're back. We have some diamonds in the rough here, guys. It wasn't our best war. It was actually a pretty atrocious war, to be honest. Uh, don't know really what happened. We were just dip failing all over the place. And it's really kind of an epidemic going on in the clan right now. Can't be doing that if we want to actually compete and win our wars. That being said, even though we played poorly and lost the war, we still had some really epic attacks. I'm going to go through some of those in this episode. We are going to start off up top here looking at who do we gonna, who are we going to go for first. Let's go with uh, Danny on DLO bringing the hog riders here. 21 hog riders, a couple miners even in store. And this little diamond shaped base is pretty popular right now at Town Hall 10. May even make a three star vault on this particular base. I don't know guys, but anyways, starting off with archers on the right, trimming out some buildings over there, working on the funnel that is eventually going to happen. We've got the king and some wizards following uh, down the right side of the wall and it looks like the uh, queen here is doing work. Great funnel so far. She is obviously going to walk to the left with no issue. Now with the hog riders, he's trying to get in and uh, really make quick work of the pathing to the inferno towers and as you can see, trimming out everything on the bottom, he should be able to target those pretty directly. Uh, but the big thing is taking out the enemy archer queen as well as the clan castle. So Danny here, Really, really solid as of late, both hitting 10v10 as well as 10v11. One of our most solid and consistent 10v11 players. Danny's been absolutely crushing it. Wall breakers go down. The last wall breaker actually gets a CC lure here. Poison spell shared between the wizard, the enemy queen, and an archer plus golem. So he's able to take out the queen, and now it's a matter of getting that golem taken down super, super fast. So balloons to direct target. Gets the Inferno done, and then also takes out the Air Sweeper. Almost. Thought he was going to get the Air Sweeper, but no. He doesn't get the Air Sweeper. But he has created some nice pathing down the right side of this base. The Queen eventually will work her way into the base here, taking out the Tesla and the Air Sweeper. So that's kind of what's going on with the initial funneling. Even this far into the base, he is still funneling for his Hog Riders by taking out defensive buildings. So, that being said, he's going to send the hogs from the top, it looks like. Nope, just the one. Just the one to help the queen out with some damage. Now that it is focused on her, uh, it's going to cheaply take out the archer tower. He sends in several hog riders over here to the side to trim out these buildings. And then the main group goes through the core. Hog riders hopping into a heal spell and another heal spell chained to make sure all hogs go into this final quadrant here at full health. They do eat one bomb, but for the most part, all of them heal up and most of them exit at full health. They're going to need that as they catch a bomb going into the last section here. But Danny crushes the base. Several hogs left over. The queen walks the entire length unscathed. Gotta love it. So Danny getting it done there with the hog riders. Let's change up the army a little bit. See what some others are using. We watched Danny go in first. Now we've got a little KC action taking out Joe Mama. 
I said Joe Mama. So here we've got some bowlers going live with the healers. Um, this is an interesting attack, but as you can see, uh, a very thin strip down the center of this base. All of the defense kind of concentrated on the right if he can get some good action going down the sides, which he's going to send in witches and a couple of healers on the side uh, for the right side. And then the left, you're going to see a queen walk, which is perfect. Because as long as all this stuff on the outside goes down, those bowlers are going to go into the base, through the core, and a lava loon in the CC really isn't going to deter them too much. So there it is. All of those bowlers get to the core. Looking pretty good right now. We've got bowlers in there going towards the Inferno Tower. Now that the Air Sweeper's down, uh, we do have some lock on. Take it out. We've got a Skelly spell in that final quadrant, distracting some of the point defense. Really, really beautiful raid here. The queen still working her way around, and the bowlers meeting up with her as well. Now that the core is completely gutted, this cannon is the main thing to go down. The bowlers do get it right before they get taken out from the inside. This base really got hammered. Uh, Casey did a wonderful job there. The queen uses the ability, gets through the wall. The healers do get taken out, but it doesn't matter. It's too late. Casey getting it done for WHF. Nice work, dude. All right, next up, we are going to be taking a look. Not at KC, not at Danny, but... Dwyer taking on Cascazilla, bringing the dragon attack at Town Hall 10. This was a great attack. Notice the air defenses in the corners, guys. Remember from the dragon video, you want to isolate those air Ds and take them out. Storages lined up with air Ds means free kills for bowlers. Drops one bowler there to get the skip, and that is going to do the trick. Now, on the right side, going to ultimately be the queen that goes in and takes that, but he does some funneling on the top using some wizards and then sends in the king to take aggro. Look at this. Aggro taken. The little bombs do not have a knockback effect on the level 8 wizard. And those wizards, look at those robes. Those are dope. Sweet looking robes, bros. All right, so he gets that taken care of. And now it's time for the queen from the right. That's three air defenses taken care of, guys. Not bad at all. Only one air defense still uh, remaining. And he's got a polar on bottom still doing work right now, taking out uh, some stuff. So he sends in some balloons, direct targets the air defense. Not only gets the air defense, but gets significant damage on the archer tower as well. And now it's time for the dragons. You can see the funnel being created. That queen using her ability and forcing those dragons up to the top of the base. They will go to the inferno tower. And one trailing balloon is going to try to soak up an air trap, and it does. So nice work on that. Looking pretty sharp so far, Dwyer is. The queen lures those dragons back into the core right where he needs them to go, and then uh, trails in some balloons there. The balloons really don't do anything, but due to the success of taking out all of the air defense in this base, Dwyer really is going to crush with these dragons, and then sends in some balloons from the left side on the flank, uh, kind of speeding up and uh, killing a lot of the DPS that ultimately would have caused him harm. He takes out the air sweeper with those balloons as well. Look at the shrink trap, man. How many raids has the shrink trap messed up of yours? I want to know. Uh, definitely kind of uh, screwed up a lot of ours, but it is what it is. I'm glad to see it gone. Not really the most balanced in my opinion, but it's all good. So the drags finish up the good work here. Dwyer getting it done, taking out the base for three stars. All right, next up, we're going to go all the way down to Emiliano. Now, I showed you guys some dragon raids over the past couple of weeks. Uh, Emiliano is going to kind of demonstrate where the heck is he? There he is. We're going to demonstrate here. He brought the six pack, one of these being fresh. That was this raid. We are going to be showing you guys, again, how you exploit. Air defense is kind of offset to the side. It's all about that uh, that suicide heroes if you can do it. And then also using your hound to target a, a really concentrated section of air defenses. So first off, he gets the funnel going, makes the king go to the left here. That's really key. And then he's going to uh, take out the builder hut with an archer. Nice wall breaker there to get that trap taken out. And then three or four more actually go in. The first one is just sacrificial. Uh, nice work here on the king. Look at this. He's able to get in there, get the first air defense. And after this, uh, this army camp goes down, king goes around the outside. Queen going in, though. She's going to get that second air D. Naked walk here, so just beautifully done. She's going to get that first uh, and second air defense. And then look at this baby dragon on the right. So much value over there. Going to be working with the dragons here to get them going on. Oh, look at that. Ew. Instant air bomb on the outside. Got to love that. One drag is down. So, in from the left side, it's going to be some balloons as well as the lava hound. Eight balloons 
and he is going to be loading those up here real soon. The dragons are going to take care of the baby dragon. Puff, he's gone. How do they murder their own children like that? I just don't understand it, guys. I don't understand it at all. Dragons kind of work their way to the in inner portion of this base, though. The queen is going to go down. Dragon's still in rage and healed up. The remainder of the drags go around the outside. Now, here is where we send in uh, some troops to the air defenses. And there's that haste spell. Kind of getting everything in. Beautiful. And here we go. Rage to take care of the rest. Cannons go down. Air defense goes down. And a beautiful split there. And then into the center of the base as well. Air sweeper down as well. Now the dragon doesn't really have to worry about that top one. And we've got a whole bunch of dragons. Even a real baby dragon down here in the middle. Uh, he is chilling right next to his mom. That's a real baby dragon. That's, that's why they murdered the other one. Because it was an imposter. It was green and whatnot. Uh, but honestly, they grow up too fast. See that? Already an adult. He was a kid for like 10 seconds. Anyways, guys, this base is absolutely wrecked. Emiliano taking care of business. Gonna get it done with the dragons, guys. But I didn't want to just hit on dragons all episode. We've done that over the last week or so. I'm gonna show you guys another raid here using a different army composition. Lexnos with a beautiful queen charge taking out one of the uh, lower bases here. We're gonna take out Joey Jr., with an awesome, awesome queen charge. Notice this expo. This one's kind of key, as well as the queen positioning right here. So he needs a jump spell to access that area, and he's going to do just that. But the way he positions his queen to kind of work back and forth, and the king to go in and not only take this building out, first with the queen to force the king to go the proper direction. Look at her go in. Rage spell comes down to keep her up. Wow. So... Perfect job on the funnel, and the timing is brilliant. The king takes out those buildings, keeps going around the outside, wizard to help, and right here you're going to see the baby dragon get the town hall taken care of. That is exactly what he wanted to have happen, and instead of the queen wrapping around the outside, a jump spell goes down. Wonderfully done, and it looks like the, uh, the wizard is still locked on to the lava hound over there. Awesome job so far, but check this out. Rage spell down gets the expo taken care of. Love to see that, and now is able to jump the wall, go into the center of the base, and get the queen taken care of as well. Now it's time for the Hog Riders. He trickles in a couple to the top, getting the air defenses targeted, and now it's time for some just waterfall action. Surgical Hogs coming in little by little. Air, uh, the CC troops coming out first, those magical red gavels, and then just targeting all of these buildings over here one at a time beautifully done and you're gonna see a single heal spell here keep up these hog riders boom right there everything in the rest of the base is pretty much covered and all of those hog riders will be pretty much full health so last thing is the tesla farm and it's uh it's looking like the queen is gonna take care of that no big deal at all no more heal spells left he may catch a bomb outside the base here between the uh the teslas here but that is no big deal at all no bomb there it looks like there is a spring trap uh, more, oh, Shrink Trap, look at all those little hoggies, man. Little hoggies get all caught with the Spring Trap, so they are, uh, the Shrink Trap, rather. They are all little now. He trails in one hog rider to the, the CC. Looking pretty solid, doesn't even use the Queen ability. Lexnos getting it done for the three-star, guys. That is all I'm gonna do for this episode, guys. Man, can we get some hashtag happy anniversary in the, the comments below? I am super pumped for being with my wife now for 10 whole years gonna be going off to celebrate in the morning though guys gonna be gone for the weekend i hope to continue updating youtube in my absence that being said this is power bang i'm signing out until next time guys take care